So you know what this trailer didn't have? Boats. Boats? Boats. No inflatables. No kayaks. No Minecraft boats. No majestic boats. Nothing. So let me speak from the heart. While I want to remain positive, I just don't know if it's going to happen. I wouldn't even mind if it were just a small raft. Or something I can stash a few spears on and fish for days. And you know down the line if things work out, we can get the crew out in the water for once. That's right, Kelvin. You deserve it. The trailer starts off with an introduction to raccoons. And right away I hope this is an aggressive creature. One that not only rages at camps, but causes chaos as well. I recently made my way back to the forest, and I've completely forgotten just how much the variety of creatures played a part in the forest gameplay. I hope with raccoons, it implies that scalping animals for skins makes a return to this game, because I felt this was crucial to early survival. When playing the forest, you always had to keep your head on a swivel, as you never knew what was around the corner. And I deeply feel that Sons of the Forest has forgotten this, as the only creature that actively hunts you is in a location you can't even defend yourself in. And when I returned to the sequel, I started to realize just about every creature runs away from you. And not once do you find yourself defending your life against one of these wonderful things. There was once a time when you could interact with larger sea creatures, but that's been replaced with rendered stationary models. Sure, we can still get a few trophies, but gone are the days that things felt unique and valuable, as true survival in the forest comes from the land. Cutting back to the trailer, we see that we have some new or restructured caves and a shameless product placement for crunchy wunchies. It could be far worse though, am I right? Next we get a short action scene, and slowing it down we can see a twins mutant. And while I can't tell if this is just a cutscene, zooming in it appears to be Timmy firing his classic pistol. Following this, we do see some solo fight and a pickaxe, and perhaps we'll have to break some things to get the last piece of the artifact. In the trailer, we encounter a random stranger, and since everyone just about shops at the same gear store, it's hard to tell what the backstory is on this one, but I hope it's part of a reoccurring interaction. A similar flare smoke is seen in larger parts of the trailer. I've got my eye on you. Did you see it? Take another look. The spring trap now uses four turtle shells? I cannot begin to explain what this sexy clapping leg creature is, but believe me when I say it, my body is ready. We also get what appears to be a three-legged body slamming mutant, which brings me back to the big man from the forest. This was a brutal mutant capable of running through trees, and I hope it lives on in a full release. If you watch my content, you know I'm all about upgrading the golf cart, even if it's just a GPS. And what we get in this shot shows us some of the changes made to the map as well. Comparing to the pre-release map, we can see the addition of new paths and landscape features. Map changes really excite me. When this mutant first revealed its armor, I thought it was a simple golden bone armor. But when I zoomed in, it appeared to be something more symbolic, and that's some sexy armor. Now here's something we know little about. We can see these smokestacks above and around the forest, and I have to wonder if they're the return of campfires. I'm more curious as to why they are so close to each other though, but I have a different theory to offer. While looking through some game files, I ran across a group of objects, and these objects are labeled Timmy Camping Markers, and there are 11 in total. Each one has a set coordinate, and you can use the go to command right now to go to these. Some of them even have some interesting things to look at, so let me know in the comments what you think they are. Back in the trailer we see that the Hell Cave has some new touches, which I'm sure will mess with my speedrun world record. Either way I'm really excited to see what changes are coming. But who are these guys? They look similar to the leather jacket blue jeans apparel of Timmy's dad, but I wonder. Lastly, we have the artifact itself, and I have to say I'm going to be pretty sad if this is the only interaction at the end game. When we were in the forest, 
There were powerful artifacts that interact with the story, and also artifacts we can use to herd the enemies around us. I guess only time will tell. Thanks for watching. Later.